Hola, hola, ¿cómo están? Buenas tardes. How are you? This is Anna uh, from the Spanish Playdate. I'm happy to see you here. Um, today I wanted to um, go through some steps on how to start uh, reading and writing with your five or six year old when um, they are ready to start working on the letters and ready to start putting syllables together. So I wanted today to take the time to show you how I do it with my own children and my students uh, step by step and how we start with the simple things um, for the initiation. This is just how you initiate um, reading with your children. So by now, hopefully you have been singing a lot, the ABCs, you have been showing the letters to your children and they know hopefully the alphabet. If not, it's okay. You can start today. That's not a problem. Um, the regular A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, and just showing the pictures is a wonderful way how your child can um, memorize those letters. And you can start today. That's not a problem. Um, reading and writing after five or six years old, it's, it, it's the best way. It's okay. When they are little, they just memorize and sing it. Uh, the advantage of doing it earlier is that they at least know the sound by now and they might know the shapes. If not, it's okay too because they can start today. That's not a problem. Um, so I wanted to show you how you can practice at home or for any, maybe any teacher or any instructor that is starting to work with the children at early age, um, children, may, children maybe about five, six, seven years old, and they want to start teaching them how to make syllables in Spanish, then this is how I do it personally. As I told you, with my own children, that's how I taught them how to read and with my students. So I'm going to share with you um, a simple material. It's called uh, Manito Silabicas. Um, and basically what it is, uh, let me share this. What it is, is just their hands. They're going to be, oops, I just shake your, <laughs> shake the video. The hand is going to be the base on how they are going to start matching syllables. So we will start with the sound and we work with uh, the vowels first. Once your children know A, E, E, O, U, you can play with them. A, E, E, O, U. Let's say your child's name or your student name is um, Rosita. So you can say A, E, E, O, U, Rosita, Rosita, eres tú. A, E, E, O, U, Rosita, Rosita, eres tú. A, E, E, O, U, A, E, E, O, U. And you can sing with your children, with your child or your student until your child repeats uh, the song with you. So they recognize which one is the letter A, E, E, O, U. That's why, uh, do you see over here in la muñeca de la mano? In this part, it says suena las vocales because the idea with this first page is that the child can sound out the, the vowels. Now you can start, once your child knows that part, you can go uh, to the second page, um, which is to start the matching. It's like a matching game with the first letter that I always work with my children is letter M. So now you're gonna start telling them that you are going to sound the syllables. You say, you are going to say, suena las sílabas, la M, and then get a pencil. And then you will just match M goes to A. So, mm, A. 
you make the sound for the letter M, mm, and then A, ah, ma. While your child is going through this little line, the idea is that you, uh, paraf not paraphrase, you can show them that, or explain to them that this little line, while you are making that line, you are going to sound the letter M mm, until they arrive to the vowel. So, M, A, E. Mm, o, mm, o. So that is the first exercise. And then <clears throat> when they have done that, when you have witnessed that they did it, then you are going to show them that that's called a syllable. They're going to just let them know this is a syllable. Ma, me, mi, mo, mo. There are five syllables here. So you work with this side of the page and you go to the next one and the next one you're going to repeat the same um, process let's do the ah, ma and then you say ma para mano ma is for mano ma mano and then you ask them to repeat with you repeat las palabras okay ma mano me, mesa. Mi is for mitón. Mo is para mono. Mu is para muela. Now, if your child understands Spanish and you are teaching them how to read, you can, of course, just completely speak Spanish. But if your child is uh, working on Spanish as their second language, at the beginning, you're going to start uh, saying things in English. But once you say the same phrase in English for a couple of times, you start introducing the Spanish. And you just repeat exactly the same uh, sentence. Let's say, M A M A is for mano. M E is for mesa. M E is for mito. Now, is for, you're going to start switching. And then after the second or the third page, you are going to say M A is para mano. Or let's say you are working with letter P. P I A is para papa. P I E is para pera. So you are going to switch exactly the same words from English to Spanish so they know what you're talking about and they will memorize that new sentence. Um, the idea at the end is that your child can read in Spanish, right? Uh, but I understand um, that for children whose Spanish is a second language and they don't have a recurrent exposure, you will have to start implementing some techniques that are going to transition your child into full Spanish. So that is the advice in here. So we can do this with M and then you go to the next one. It's exactly the same process. The first part, <clears throat> they will have to sound um, the letter N you show them N sounds N, N suena N. And then we are going to go through the little line and we're going to be sounded out. You're going to go N, -a. N. -a. You can do it with your finger. And when you will have done the example for them, then you give them a pencil. Okay. Now try to explain and let them know what is expected of them before you give the pencil to your child, to your student. Just take the time to explain. Uh, this is like a one-on-one -on -one process if you wanna do it uh, correctly, okay? Or a small groups. So, mm, ah, mm, eh. the sound has to be clear and separately. Mm, e. N -o -n -o. Now, 
Now let's go and repeat the words. E N con la A. Na. Na para nariz. And you show them here. N A. Na. Ne. Nene. Ni. Nido. N o. Nota. N u. Nues. Now, this little exercise, it's going to be good for all the letters. So you have ñ, you have b, you have c. Now, in c, you will have different sets of c. Because, <clears throat> do you see this hand? This hand is showing only the strong vowels. A, o, u. When you have a, o, u, Letter C is gonna sound like k. Then you're gonna say k, a, k, o, k, o. And the orange and the green are the soft sounds. So we are not gonna work with this one at the same time. So you have k, a, gamma, k, o, copa, k, o, cuna, gamma. Opa, cuna. This um, libro es un libreto, este libreto de las manitas silábicas. It's perfect for the introduction of new vocabulary. As you can see, you can, you will have pictures of different objects that maybe your child is not familiar with. So this project, this little project of manitos silábicas it's meant to help you with the recognition of syllables, the reading of new words, and the help with new vocabulary, okay? So next page, we'll go only with letter C when the letter C works as an S with soft vowels, which is E and I, or A, E, C, C. You explain to your child or you explain to your new student, this is the sound for letter C when we have letter A and E, okay? So, C, C para cereza, C para circo. And they can start seeing and recognizing those. Then you have che, de, F, F, G. G has the same um, concept. You will see G, A, G, O, G, U, G, A para ga, ga, gallina, gorra y gusano. If you go with soft vowels, las vocales suaves, G con la E suena G, la G con la E suena G. So G latina girasol and um, letter H you explain to your children that they don't the H doesn't have a sound the best example is when you say hola so hola you sound you can hear o but letter H has to be there so that is one of the ways how I always um, help them to recognize that um, so this is harina, helado, hilo, hospital, huevo. And then you go until the M. And you go, hasta la, e, la R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, y well, Z. X, Y, y Z. Z. I think I didn't download Z. Okay, I will work on that. Okay, so I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, this is how we introduce reading to our children who are between five and six years old and then learn the, and they are learning Spanish. I hope this is helpful to you. Um, you can share if you would like this material. It will be in the description below. And I hope it is helpful to you as it has been to me through the years. <laughs> okay, take care and I will see you in the next video. Adios.